How's it going, Taco Stackers and all the beautiful people of YouTube today? Thrift store video. Today I'm going to be looking for vintage clothes like always, but hopefully find some nice brick brack or some advertisement. I know a lot of people have actually sent me messages saying they found really, really cool advertisement recently at thrift stores. For me, I can't seem to find any of that kind of stuff here. It seems to just not be the demographic, but maybe, maybe we'll find something, whether it be, you know, a, a, another beer mirrored sign or, or something of that nature hopefully we can find something cool I, I really have nothing left so it's always good to find new inventory i think these thrift stores will be packed with a lot of stuff in the upcoming weeks because people are going to be returning stuff people are going to be donating stuff people are also going to try to be dropping off a lot of stuff to make to get their last second uh tax breaks and stuff for this year so hopefully you guys will enjoy the video let's get into it Brick Brack's looking a little bare. Sometimes these old toys, this is not old one, it's a new one, get some weird money. A couple board games. Chachis and figurines and stuff. I picked up a bunch of clothes, but nothing really too great. All right, so they just put out this this cart of things, and we have a longer burger basket. Uh, 49 cents These are always good at the market sometimes they get get big money online I don't think this is a big money one. It's kind of small, but I'll have to look at it 49 cents. You can't pass it up It's uh, it's one of those weird things that's still a collectible that's still sought after Alrighty, so that one is, uh, that one's done. I guess now we're on to the next one. Alright, here we are. Thrift store number two of the day. This place is deserted. I don't know where everyone is. Hey, I'll find some brick brack. Last time I was here, they had a cast iron pan. That wasn't anything great. Um, it's very hard to find things that are profitable in the brick brack area. Very, very difficult. Here, Penn State jacket, seven fifty on sale. I don't do well with jackets; they're very seasonal, and you have a very limited window to sell them. So if you reduce them five, ten bucks each time over a course of a month, it, it, it's you're pushing your limit. Twenty bucks. In terms of artwork, hmm. this 
place is a very limited store, and most times I wouldn't stop here, but it's on the way back to another store, so with that in mind, I'd definitely try to stop and see if I can pick anything up. Shoes, shoes, shoes. I don't really do very well with these destination shirts, like this. But this is vintage in San Francisco. I feel like someone in San Francisco would probably want to buy this. It's a very, I guess you can say, city, urban kind of look. Retro, vintage, 90s look to it. If you live in San Francisco, this would look really sweet if you like that look. So I want to grab that. Here's the electronic section. Everyone's like, go check the electronics, you'll make more money. There's nothing here. You got a couple TVs. Another TV. A blunder. I mean, this is... This is kind of why I also do clothes, is because there's just nothing. There's just nothing. Sometimes I come over to the female section just to see if there's any Patagonia. Sometimes it likes to hide over here. I think they have a fleece section. So there's Columbia. What is this? Phillies. I don't know. Kind of can tell by the colors. What is this? Jets football sweatshirt. Alright, the Jets are really bad. It's three bucks. And I'll get it. What we got here? Ooh, vintage Jets. It's four bucks. Maybe I'll sell it next year. Maybe I'll sell it this year. Here's another sweatshirt. This one looks stained. You really never know what you're going to find if you go to the other sections. People hide stuff. You never know. That's why I try to tell people you got to look around. And I only came out here because I one time found a Patagonia fleece. Which, I think it was a woman's, but it was in the women's section. But whenever I find Patagonia fleeces, no matter what price they are, I always try to pick them up. It's always under 10 bucks because they're going to get more than 10 bucks for it. At least right now, because that's a that's a current trend. With the recap of the thrift store pickups, this is an accumulation of three days of thrifting. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel and you're probably wondering maybe what my eBay or Etsy store is, you guys might want to check out my 10,000 subscriber special. Just type that into my other videos. So if you're unsure about that, go over there and check that out after this video. What I try to do is keep everything entertainment friendly, content friendly. What we have here is a lot of filler stuff. Now filler stuff doesn't sell very well on eBay. So if you're a reseller and you're thinking you want to make a million dollars on some of this stuff, uh, your best bet is probably to look at artwork or something of that nature because this is not million dollar stuff But at the same time you can accumulate a lot and hopefully gain some sort of Experience or education through this which might help your eBay or Etsy store as well. I Do like to buy stuff very cheap and I like to sell it cheap because it helps it move because it helps it move it a lot quicker Let's get into it. Let's see what we picked up today. We have a nice vintage San Francisco, California sweatshirt Delaware Blue Hens, Duke University. Here we have a nice Poland t-shirt. This is from 91. It is uh, it's definitely a vintage shirt. You'll see a lot of these vintage shirts have 
a very, very thick screen print. I know it's very hard to see, but it's like a bubble. Um, wish it didn't have any advertisement on the back, but it is what it is. Here we have a University of Scranton sweatshirt, a nice NYU t-shirt. I picked this up a while ago, and I sold it. And here's another one, so whenever you can replenish inventory, it's always good. We have a James Madison t-shirt, nice NYPD t-shirt. Here we have a Mariano Rivera jersey t-shirt. These sell very well in the spring and summer when baseball season comes around, as well as it's always important to pick up people who are very noted. So Rivera, Jeter, Bernie Williams, those guys sell very well. Here we have Nomar Garcia Parra for the Red Sox. He's another guy. I picked him up for the Cubs a while back. He was a slow mover for the Cubs, but Red Sox, he's a very well-known guy. Maryland t-shirt. Eric Lindros, this is a nice vintage t-shirt from probably the mid-90s, early 90s, maybe 97 or something like that. We don't have a date. I had one of these in Yarmor Yager back in the day that I used to wear all the time. And Lindros was from my era of watching hockey and growing up. So definitely a lot of nostalgia factor there. We have a Notre Dame t-shirt. Jets. Nice vintage Jets. If this was in Giants, I'd probably keep it. But it's a Jets. It's a nice vintage color. The embroidery is still very sharp. We have Seattle Mariners. Westchester. Nice vintage Auburn t-shirt. Another Westchester, we have Maryland University. This is kind of a filler jersey. Filler jersey, basketball, good for basketball season. You can probably sell this for about 10, 12 bucks on Etsy, maybe eBay as well. If you're going to the game, it sure beats paying 40 or 50 dollars for a jersey. It's only two bucks. Nice seven line t-shirt. Here we have Ralph Lauren Polo Sport. Now this isn't their premium brand, Ralph Lauren. It is kind of a lower end brand, but at the same time I find a lot of the vintage stuff or Polo Sport or Ralph Lauren chaps to sell very well in sweatshirts. And the reason why is a lot of people growing up could not afford the higher end stuff. You know, if you look at Nike, the vintage Nike stuff from the 90s is very hot, but the vintage champion and starter stuff, which was really cheap back then, still sells very well. That's kind of not the case for today. It's kind of weird because stuff from today's era, you know, of mall wear, I like to call it like Abercrombie, Aeropostel, Hollister, all those really don't hold a good value to them. But vintage stuff from the 90s, especially like Champion, Starter, stuff like that holds its value even though it's, it was in a, like a kind of a competitive market. I feel like a lot of people want to bring back their childhood. They want to bring back stuff from you know, when, when they were growing up and what they wore. Even if they really want to wear Nike, they wore Champion or they wore Starter. And now that they can't afford Nike or now that they can't afford Jordan or this or that, they really just want the stuff that they wore. It's kind of a nostalgia factor. It kind of brings back a flashback or a throwback feeling. And uh, it does sell very well. So if you're someone who is looking for this stuff, don't be turned away because it's not their premium, uh, premium brand. It, it does sell very well, especially the sweatshirts. Rolling Rock t-shirt, I've picked this one up a bunch of times. We've got Yingling. Might have to keep this for myself. Uh, Westchester University again. We have a Kansas State Nice VCU, Jurassic Park, another shirt that sold very well for me. And lastly, we have a Pennsylvania State Police t-shirt. I probably picked this one up about 10 or 12 times. I've sold all of them. For some reason, these sell very, very well. Uh, like I've said a couple times, any state police is definitely the agency you want in terms of fire department. FDNY sells very well, and Chicago Fire Department sells very well. So the emergency service, emergency service t-shirts do sell extremely quick. And, you know, they're always easy, $10, $15 for a T-shirt. Sometimes the FDNY T-shirts you can get $20, $25. I, I've noticed for myself. Moving along, the brick brack, we have some Pyrex here. Got a nice, I guess this is a creamer. Um, this is more of that Flamingo stripe set. They had more from that same week that I bought it, I don't know, three or so weeks ago. We have a saucer and, you know, a couple saucers and stuff. Here we have a longer burger basket. I was very shocked to see them put it out for so cheap, 49 cents. I went to another thrift store and they had four or five of these and they're marked for like 25 to 50 dollars a piece. I guess this store just doesn't know much about Longer Burger. It's really not that expensive of a basket, but some people just see a name and they freak out. Uh, at the flea market, you can expect to get three to five bucks for this similar one. I don't know, I haven't checked it online or seen what it might go for online, so I'll have to do that. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time and you want to see more reselling or thrifting videos, definitely subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace!